Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Crypt Dungeon Environment. Now, the overall quality of this is, it's not fantastic, but I mean, it's free. It's, it serves its purpose of what it needs, and I do quite like how it looks. I mean, in its simplest terms, without any extra effects, it doesn't look too bad at all. And this whole environment could be quite useful for something that you would see in even maybe an RPG or maybe some kind of survival horror game. It definitely has, like, can play the part. It definitely has that aura about it. And if you add maybe just a little bit of post-processing, like I have done, it can actually look a lot better than what it is. It definitely has that feel about it that more can be done but it's not down to the developer to make it like that it's down to you as a developer to actually make it creepy now quantity wise it's not bursting with uh, assets we've got a couple of different things here and there that we can use plenty of textures um but i mean you could set these prefabs any way you want really in the scene you could you know build your own scene you don't have to keep it as the default scene that it gives you this is the default scene that i am in uh, as we can see but I mean, there's enough assets to create your own dungeon here. You could expand this a lot further than what it is. It's just one simple room right now. And you could just take this and run with the idea and build it much, much bigger and better if you wanted to. Now, it is very versatile, customizable, as you would expect. Uh, if you were to go into the materials, for example, you could play around with a normal map and you know make it look kind of ooh, creepy and really weird. You can see the walls there are really standing out now. And if we were to go to maybe the floor and change the normal map on the floor, you can see just how much of an impact that would have. So customizing any asset is always recommended by me. Never take the asset as it is. Just look at this. Look at how this looks now and look at its original look without the post-processing. Sometimes post-processing can really make a game. It just looks, you know, bland, simple. But then with the post-processing on there, it looks really cool. Price-wise, it's free. You really can't get any better than that. Why not give it a try? It's free. Um, the size of the package is 152 meg. It does seem a little bit large for what it is. But remember, most connections these days are unlimited. You know, we can download 152 megabytes in a couple of seconds these days in some regions of the world. Sure, it may take a little longer in other places. But just keep in mind the size if you do want to get this package. The usefulness of it can be quite useful depending on what project you're making. For example, it's no good in something like a space sci-fi shooter. It's no, it's no good in that. But in most scenarios, you could probably find something useful within this asset itself. As I said, it is customizable. You could do whatever you wanted with it. I mean, you could take these lights and change them completely to a different kind of light. So, for example, if you want to take all the point lights, take them all, and you could change it to, I don't know, a, a blue colour for whatever reason, and you'd have that effect. So it is customizable in that respect. So as you know, guys, I either like to recommend or not recommend assets. I don't really rate them on a scale because I think that's a bit daft. So I would recommend this asset, but only if you have a scenario in your game which would actually serve a purpose with this particular asset. It's not worth taking this asset and shoving it into any game. I only recommend it if you have this style of game. So guys, don't forget, click subscribe, click bell icon as well. You can stay up to date with everything I've got on my channel about game development. You know, we've got all these assets, we've got tutorials, games that people are making. There's loads to see here. Uh, if you've used this asset in your game, let me know your thoughts and how you've changed it and what you've done with it. I'd love to know. And if you've got anything on the asset store yourself, get in touch. I'd love to review it. So, guys, thank you very much for watching.